Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Budget with Kat, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Kat, I'm a 32 year old budgeting addict and I just love everything budgeting. Today's video, we are going to be doing an extra cash stuffing for October. I have actually got £310 to extra cash stuff, which is just incredible. It's due to doing overtime last month. So we have got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 5, 10. So 310. I'm definitely not going to be able to do one for November. I might be able to do like a small one, but it's going to be nowhere near as high amount as this. Like I've managed to do, I think, 300 for the last two months just because I have been doing overtime but we have employed a new member of staff so we'll see how that works out but I do know one of my night staff is on holiday for two weeks two weeks sorry which I am going to be pulling in some extra that way so in December would it be December yeah December will be probably a larger extra, extra cash stuffing depending on how much obviously I spend for Christmas but I will be doing an extra cash stuffing, even if it's a low amount. But we'll see. We'll see, guys. So today we are going to be putting a lot into sinking funds, some of my savings challenges and wedding. Of course, it's, it's what I always do. So we are going to start with sinking funds today and uh, put some in here. So I have got it all written down or else my mind, I wouldn't know where to put it because I'll just lose it. The first one is going to be car insurance. I am going to be doing a couple extra cash to things into this, as well as my normal month's cash stuffing, just because it is so high. What was it? 800 and I want to say 20 something. So I need to save it. <laughs> car in the window as well. Might as well. Uh, so we've got another 40 into car insurance. So now in car insurance for next year, we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So we've already got a lot in the um, the car insurance wallet by the end of this year. So we should be doing another one next month and then December. So maybe 200 by the end of the year, which would be incredible, actually. The next thing we're putting into is, where are we, date night's not... Furniture, obviously, yes. So we are going to put £50 into here. This is actually building really, really nicely. And this is just for, like, the furniture for a new house. Obviously, I do have a separate savings account for the actual home, like, mortgage-wise. But this is just for the furniture. So in the bank, we do have £1,500. 750 so 1750 already in the bank plus 20 40 60 80 90 100 so we have now got 1850 pounds altogether in the home furniture i'm hoping that you can actually see this so another 50 going into our home furniture. I love these, these trackers from Illuminal Designs. I might have to go back on and get some other ones, but I don't have any more like areas that I need a tracker for. But they're just, they're just so beautiful. Okay, the next area is we are actually putting £10 into Baby E. Baby E is getting 10 so, we already have £250 in the bank for baby E, plus 260 270 280 85 90 So now we've got £290, 290, £290 now in baby E. This is for future kids that we are saving for. So, £290 now in baby E. Right, the next area, I actually need to see. It's 
So the next area we're going to go into is, I think it's holiday. Uh, where is it? Oh no, Bubby, we're going to go into my partner's wallet and we are putting in £20 into my partner's wallet. This is going to be for Christmas. I um, decided to do it. So 10 and 20 now going into my partner's Christmas sort of like budget. And now he has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 50. So he now has 150 in his Christmas budget. Right, the next one will be holiday. And we're just putting £10 in just to try and get that the, the other half of that plane sort of finished. Because obviously we have been kind of just doing, well, half a plane sometimes. So I just wanted to get that half a plane done and then we can just put £20 in each time. So we're putting £10 in holiday. And now we have 250 in the bank plus 270 to 90, 300. We have now 300 in holiday. And this is going to go towards one of like a big holiday next year. The small ones we won't budget for, but the big ones we are going to budget for. And then is that everything in this one? We've done my partners, holiday, car insurance, home, baby E. I think that is. I literally think that is everything in sinking funds. Let me see how much I've got left. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. So 180. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> I was just thinking then, uh, that seems a lot more than what I thought. I was going to be left with but I think that is correct so the next thing is I'm going to do one of my other binders um excuse you go in there and that's going to be Christmas now Christmas is going to get 50 pounds and we're going to mark off the 225s so I need my red pen mm, red one I'm going to mark off 25s and that is 50. Now I am leaving the two fives for my savings challenges. So with this, I'm going to put 20 in one and then 30 in the other. Just, I mean, I could have swapped for lower bills, but uh, no, I'll just put 20 in one and um, if I can find them. So we got. 25 here so I put 20 in this one and then 30 in this one and then obviously it still makes out that I've put in 50 pounds just in you know different ones so we have now got left 60 and we've got 60 pounds left in the Christmas binder until it's completed the next binder we're going to go into is, of course, wedding. Now, I have changed some of the um, the amounts in here. So, normally, so we know that ceremony is 20, venues 50. But the other ones, I've just put all down to 20. So, music and entertainment, obviously, that's still 10. And that one's still 10. But, like, flowers and decorations is 20. The photography is 20 as well. So, I've just put everything down to 20 just because I was finding... I wasn't putting into areas that were like 30 or 40 say so I am or have put the amounts down like rings I put down to 20 it was a 40 per ring but I put it down to 20 just because I wasn't putting into any of the other areas obviously that I needed to put into so we have what is it 80 so 20 40 60 70 80 so we are putting into venue again, and that'll be 50 into venue. So let's do. So now in venue, we do have 600. Let me get it out properly to show you. 
600 in the bank already plus the 20 40 and 50 so we've got 650 now in the venue part of the wedding which is just crazy i'm still so like amazed how well i've done with the wedding binder like with the areas just uh, that's amazing really now i've got 30 left uh mm, so i am going to go into a new one today and I think it will be for the photography. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 20 in here and I'm gonna do a yellow camera. So 20 is going into there. So we can, with it being lower, I can actually start putting into some of the other areas for my wedding binder. Right, and then we have got £10 left and <clears throat> let's put it into music and entertainment. I can do half or we can cross off another one. No, because I could, no, let's do half of the music and entertainment. So I'm, I'm just going to colour in half of one of these music notes and then next month was that even mm, i don't really like that color <laughs> let's do the darker let's do the dark purple and then next month we can put the other 10 pound in and then that gets it started really oh that's a bit skew if but that would do so just 10 pounds going into so 10 pounds going into the music and entertainment part of the wedding binder so that's 80 gone into there so now we have where have we got oh we have got 50 so 50 left for saving challenges i'm going to have to change some of those notes i think so let's get savings challenges out i'm going to change one of those 20s into two tens just because i'm going to need something a bit smaller and we shall see if that is good enough if not then i will obviously just change some more okay so we shall start off with the five and ten challenge We'll do, let's say two rolls, because obviously I do have the other, um, like autumn and Christmas savings challenge still to do. So we'll do two rolls and see where that gets us. Oh God, <laughs> let's see, shall we? I'm hoping for at least a 10, even if it's 20, that'd be good, you know? So let's see. Oh, okay, so we've got 20, the first one, give us a five. Yes, okay, it read my mind again. So we're doing 25 into this challenge. Oh my God, I can't believe that actually worked out. <laughs> so we have finished the, the 20s. Oh, you didn't even see that, guys. So we have now finished the bonus of the 20s. So now we just focus on this. So I guess if I roll a... A pink again I can if it's 20 I can just take two tens off it'll just be easier I'll be rolling here all day really so a 20 and 5 so that's 25 going into the 5 and 10 challenge that's actually a really good amount and it's left me still with a good amount to be able to put into my autumn and Christmas so 20 40 60 80 100 120 40 60 80 200 220 35 so we've got 235 pounds now in the five and ten challenge i can't wait for this one to be completed i literally cannot wait for this to be completed <laughs> we have so much though we still have so much to do on it okay so that five so we've got two tens and a five that five i'm going to put again into money street and see if we can actually cross off another five have we got 
Mm, we got a four and a one, that will do. I know this isn't really how you're meant to play it, guys. Uh, like I said, it's how I'm playing it. <laughs> it's how I'm going to play it. So. so now in Money Street, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20. And then those two tens. Let's have a little look. So we did start the boo basket in my last video. Um, so we're going to take one of these off. Uh, which pen was it? It's this one. So we're going to do the trick or treat little um, little pumpkin box. <laughs> really cute, actually. Yeah, so we take one off of the boo basket. So now we have 10, 15 and 20 now in the boo basket. Again, this saves £70. So we've got 50 more to do. And it probably won't be done by Halloween. It is going to be... Oh my God, which day is Halloween on? Is it Thursday or Friday? Um, so it probably won't be done by then. But again, I'll just continue it over Halloween until it's all completed, obviously. And then we're going to start the Santa's buds today. And again, they're going to be £10 per spud. <laughs> so cute, though. So £10 per spud. Oh, they're so adorable. And we're just going to cross one off. Just tick it and then put a £10 in. So there is nine of them so we save 90 pounds for this savings challenge and then this is the other one after if we complete this one this will probably be five pound per hot chocolate just because there is so many hot chocolates there so yeah so we started the santa's buds today and we have put into the boot basket so there's two savings challenges stuffed into well three as well as obviously actually four because <laughs> my my mind is just gone so we've done the five and ten challenge that's 25 money street's gotten five the autumn one's got 10 and christmas has got 10 as well lovely i do love it when i put a lot into my savings challenges it means hopefully we'll be able to finish it soon and then start some fresh ones that is it for the extra cash stuffing of October. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Comment down below, guys. I love replying to your comments. And I can't wait to see you in my next video, which will be the end of month blind account for October. It literally just seems like yesterday I did the September one, which is just crazy. But until then, guys, I can't wait to see you. Bye, guys.